Hello and welcome to Martin Maths, looking at probability tree diagrams. Say we have two independent events, A and B, maybe they're playing tennis and playing squash, and if we have the probability of winning in the first event of 0.7, well, the probability of losing, if there's no drawing, must then be 0 0.3. In the other event, if it's independent, and its probability of winning is 0.6, then that must also be 0.4, because it's 1 minus that. We repeat that here. Now we can also do the AND law of winning and winning going across there and there. So winning, winning would be 0.7 times 0 0.6, which would be 0 0.42. So the main thing to see is that at every node, the probabilities must sum to 1, there, there, and there. And we can use the AND rule and the OR rule. That's probability tree diagrams. Thanks.